things never stay the same and people's attention constantly gravitates to different things as time goes on. Nestled inside a small country town sits a store that although small had a reputation for having only the best items for sale. This now abandoned antique store was built in the late 1800s and was run by a kind couple and despite their age they were able to keep their store open and thriving for many years. Items were brought from all over the country and even the world, but after their inevitable death, it was forced to close down for good. Now, various classic cars and vehicles sit outside, along with hundreds of thousands of dollars of valuables rotting still inside. Alright guys, but we're starting off the video here, we're on the outside of the property. As you can see, it does look really cool from the outside, kind of gives like an old country style vibe. And there's a cool Coca-Cola sign up there too. And the house on the left, it looks like that would have been the home for the owners, and then this would have been their place of business. And they probably died, and it's left no more. And there are a few trucks on the property too, such as that one. And there's another one right over there on the other side of the house and trailers and other things like that. But let's go over here through this very overgrown area. All right, so as we approach the location, you can obviously see that it's been unused for a long time as the weeds and brush are definitely starting to grow. But let's take a quick hop and a skip inside the window and take a little look at the outside of the place. It's very nice, it's all overgrown and very old looking, but it is like wood. It looks like uh, old wood and has a very nice vibe to it. Let's go inside. As we walk in, these are definitely some of the uh, the back rooms of this place. There's not much going on here. Maybe just for storage or if they're doing like some renovations. There's some nice wood here and some nice materials to end up doing them. But right here, this room is where we start to see actual stuff. Right there is an old pinball machine, very cool to see. And some old chairs. I'm not sure if these would be for sale or not, but it is definitely very cool to see. But here it is going through this nice wooden door right here is the entrance the side entrance of this place it's very very nice as you can see I'm just taking a quick panoramic around just to get a quick glimpse of what's going on but it is just very very stunning everything that's still left here it's beautiful absolutely amazing take a look at all the posters still left on the wall just crazy to see and as we go through this aisle in the middle of all the clutter these right here are the front doors where you would enter the building and to the right right over here this kind of looks like a jail cell you could close this door and maybe there would be a tenant through this window where you could purchase all your things that you wanted to buy it also kind of looks like a post office a bit too take a look at all those shelves and some of them have some mail in it too. Very nice though. It's really cool how it kind of looks like a jail cell. But take a look at some of these poses on the wall. And there's so many of them too. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. It's crazy to see. This place is really amazing. And there's some mannequins right here. And some of this weird liquid. Maybe perfume over here as well. But through this counter, I'm assuming this could have been an attendance uh, place right here where, where the workers would sit. I'm not sure why there's an actual barber shop set up here, but uh, it definitely is very cool. It's a nice barber chair, the sink, of course, and that's some of the talc that you always end up seeing at the barber shops. This calendar, take a look at that, is from 1906. So I definitely have pretty old stuff in here. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's stuff from the 1800s. This place is definitely a gem. I've already spent like an hour looking at this place a few days ago, but I thought it was so cool and I needed to come back. Look at this. It's a chart of all the, the new Buicks in 1928. Take a look at that. And up on these shelves, we have some nice, uh, nice silverware, some uh, cups right there, and then right above it, it's a bunch of navy boats, things like that, and even a big fish right there as well. And I do want to see more stuff that's over here, so let's climb on this bed 
and take a little waddle over here. It does look like there's a lot of stuff back here. All right, let's get off real quick. Right here is an old piano. It does work kind of. Take a look at that radio too. All these shelves are just stocked with a bunch of old stuff. It's really cool to see. These old Coca-Cola bottles. What is this? And right beside it is this old sewing machine right here. And this is the real deal right here. It's the whole setup is left behind. In a lot of abandoned houses we see, they have the table still left, but the sewing machine part is actually gone. So we can't get the full effect. But this is really cool to see. And right here is where they keep the yarn. That's really neat. And the string would go along here. Look at that. Wow. There's a lot of sewing machines in this place. Definitely quite a few. And in the side room again, there's quite a few side rooms in here. Maybe for storage or just like extra rooms to keep stuff. There's even more antiques here. This is really wild. From what I could gather, this place closed in uh, 2008. Uh, I, I saw a calendar from that date, but so probably close around then, but I'm sure it was an operation for more than 100 years. All these are puzzles too. Look at that. Already made, already finished puzzles. Wow, look at this thing. Look at that. Craft, very nice. Very cool design on it. It seems to be handmade too. Look at that, very nice. This fridge is even old. This is a General Electric fridge. And it has the whole design to it too. It has a cool look to it. If we open it, nothing is inside. But the handle is cool. I kind of pull like that to open. It's really cool to see. And new, another sewing machine right there as well. So there's two right over here. But let's keep moving on. Let's see everything this this place has to offer. A very, very cool grandfather clock right there too. It's very big and I'm sure it would be worth a lot of money too. Look at that. And of course the posters on the wall as well. Very cool as well. These seem to be movie posters or like celebrity posters. And then on the other side, it seems to be for events and things like that such as the uh, the Shelby Auto Race, which we'll end up seeing over there. Wow. Let's go, let's see what's in here. Some jars, things like that over there. And then these posters that sell eggs. That's really cool. What's this one? Butter and eggs, 15 cents. It's definitely very old. But inside the small little side entrance, seems to be a, a lobster catcher right here. Not sure why. But back here, seems to be the restrooms, as we can see over there. That's pretty neat. So I don't think there's gonna be anything much over here. I don't think this is any storage or anything. Just the restrooms or not much though, not much else. But let's go back in the main area and see what else we can find here. All right, but coming back here, it's brilliant to see. And there are these two, there's an oven and a washing machine here. These look pretty uh, new, relatively new. Uh, so it seems like they do have kind of modern stuff here, but most of the things are quite old as well. So they sell old and uh, new stuff as well. Take a look in this corner. Look at all these car posters right here. Vehicle posters. Look at that. This is crazy that all the walls are just completely covered in them. Really amazing to see. And of course, everything is inside is wood. 
It's really, really nice wood cabin feel. I like it a lot. And the lights are even interesting too. They look kind of old as well. Take a look at that.